All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. You guys know my thoughts on Odell going to the Dallas Cowboys and Ezekiel Elliott along with Micah Parsons and probably everybody else on the Dallas Cowboys. But we'll start it off with this quote from Zeke. We know the type of player Odell is. We know how explosive he can be and what he can be for this offense. It'd be great to get him down here in Dallas. Another weapon in our repertoire. We want him. Man, I think Odell needs to go to the Dallas Cowboys. He would look so freaking good in a Cowboy uniform. I know America's key team, you know, I know NFL fans, if you're not a Cowboys fan, I know they like to give the Cowboys a hard time, but everybody would agree with this statement. Those jerseys are sweet, and I think any football player, whether you're a professional, whether you're in college, whether you're in high school, whether you're just, you know, in peewee football, I think every football fan would love to play for the Dallas Cowboys, so I have a hard time believing that Odell Beckham Jr., with all of this outside noise coming from Micah, coming from Zeke, coming from Jerry Jones, I have a hard time believing Odell Beckham Jr. will not be in a Dallas Cowboy uniform one month from now. Now, I still don't think Odell will be signed until probably, you know, I think we're at least two weeks away. I think he needs to get physically cleared until it even becomes more and more in the news. Apparently, there's going to be a big bidding war. You know, with the Dallas Cowboys, I'm not too worried about there being a big bidding war. Uh, now that you have a healthy Dak Prescott, I think the biggest thing with Odell is this. So, obviously, you got CD, you got Zeke, you got Dak. You don't have to be wide receiver one. I think when he went to the Rams last year, Cooper Cup was clearly, you know, he was having just a historic season, right? Cooper Cup was having one of the best seasons ever at the wide receiver position already. And the day Odell got there, Robert Woods got injured. He, he tore his ACL in practice, which was devastating. So two things. I draw two things from that. Robert Woods, or first off, Odell Beckham Jr., I don't think he wants to be the number one wide receiver anymore, which is perfectly fine, perfectly fine because of these injuries. He's getting up there in age at 30 years old. That's number one. Number two, from a team standpoint, the Los Angeles Rams, like I said, be, this was before Robert Woods went down with an injury. They had Stafford. The Rams were already very good. They were one of the best teams in the NFC. They were one of the best teams in the NFL, actually. They didn't need Odell. They didn't need OBJ. They just did, they didn't need him, right? But they went out there. They did it. And it's a huge reason to me with or without Robert Woods, that they ended up winning the Super Bowl. So do the Dallas Cowboys, with all of your weapons on the offensive end, with, I, you know, I don't think, I know statistics probably won't back this statement up, but I have a hard time believing there's a better defense, full strength, than the Dallas Cowboys in the NFL. That's how good I think their defense is, especially with Micah Parsons. I mean, he's, he's a stud. Everyone, everybody on their defense are studs so i have a hard time believing they're not the best defense in the league and i just see from odell's standpoint there's a couple of things you want all right if you don't want to be the wide receiver one well it doesn't really matter because all these contending teams if there's going to be a bidding war all these contending teams they have wide receiver ones right they probably have wide receiver twos as well it's going to take some time to fit into the system it's going to take some time to fit in the scheme but if you're 30 years old, or you know, if you're any age, actually, if whether you like sports or not, most people, you want to be in warm weather. So, Dallas, down south, but most importantly, you're in a dome. You're in a dome. You don't have to go play in Buffalo in January. It, playing in Buffalo in January is not for everybody. Playing in Green Bay in January is not for everybody. Playing in Kansas City in January is not for everybody. So I hear that there's going to be this, you know, this huge bidding war. And, you know, if there really was this huge bidding war, shouldn't a team have already signed him? I highly doubt Odell Beckham Jr. is really even thinking about that right now. Because he doesn't have, time is on his side. He doesn't have anything he needs to stress out about. He's injured. He physically can't play still. He hasn't been cleared. So... If I'm Odell, it, this is a very easy decision to me. I mean, I know the Ravens are also in the mix. Well, it's also another state where it's cold and it's not a dome. So it all adds up. It all makes perfect sense. And it's just like as the days go by, I hear more and more and more about 
a different Cowboys player speaking why Odell should go to him. And I just think if I'm Odell, why would I not go to the Dallas Cowboys? So let me know what you guys are thinking. If you want more Cowboys content, I do post it. So go ahead, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, show some love down below in the comment section if you want more. But most importantly, where do you see, Cowboy fan or not, where do you see Odell Beckham Jr. going?